everybody, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. This video, what I am going to do is I am going to embroider Mello's dog leash. Um, he is getting a lot bigger. Um, now he is about, I think, 35 pounds, and he needs a bigger leash and a stronger leash. I went to PetSmart and I bought this leash, and it kind of, you know, it's, it's like material, it's very strong. And one of the things that I noticed is that when you go online and you want to buy a leash um, to have it personalized, all they do is they embroider the puppy's name and your phone number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to embroider this myself. So I'm going to do this on the SC1900, okay? So if you guys have little, you know, dogs out there and you have their dog leashes and you want to embroider the dog leashes, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is my first time embroidering. I know it can't be that hard, so it should be pretty easy and stuff. So I'm gonna follow you step by step how I'm going to do this, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the five by seven hoop that is in the SC1900 and sticky stabilizer. So I cut the stabilizer um, long enough to fit my hoop um, and I'm going to um, take my um, steam ripper. I, I always say steam ripper. Somebody put a comment, which was kind of funny because I know sometimes I pronunciate words wrong. Um, it's supposed to be the seam, seam ripper, not steam ripper, but you know my genetics, okay? So anyway, I'm going to take my steam seam, seam ripper and I'm just going to do an X on it. I'll show you how I do it. So I'll do it on the video so you can see exactly how I do it. And then I'm just gonna peel off the top and then I'm going to mark the line. And, um, but first let's go to the machine and I'm gonna draw out using in Brilliant how I want this to be, okay? So we're gonna go over to my machine and I'm going to do it all step by step, all right? So I just wanna let you know, you just need your five by seven and you just need your um, sticky stabilizer. If you don't have sticky stabilizer, you can use tear away and take temporary adhesive, spray it on, and then you would lay the, um, the leash on there, okay? But I'll show you when we get to that part, okay? So right now we're gonna go over to Imbrilliance and I'm going to draw out the um, file, okay? Okay, everybody, we are at my computer and I got a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to take everything down. Let me shut all this off so you guys can see. No, I am not looking for a new sewing machine, but I am always looking at the hunt to see who still has the sewing machine available for sale, you know, um, and what kind of price. Because I do get a lot of comments of people that are trying to buy still the um sewing machine so i always like to see where they are selling it just in case someone reaches out and they need to know where they need to um buy it and i can advise them on where to go because you know i mean sometimes it's kind of hard so let me um close all this out all right i am now this is in brilliance it's open and i am going to change it over now to my um uh, five by seven hoop and let me see, I'm going to do a new file. Well, no, I mean, this This is a new file. There's nothing in it. I'm gonna go into preferences and I want a normal and I want the five by seven hoop. Here we go, okay. And um, I'm going to, let me see. Let me rotate the hoop. Well, no, I could leave it like that. Well, no, let me rotate it. No, no, I'll leave it like that. Okay, sorry. Sorry for all the confusion. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me do my text. Okay, now I already measured the leash. The leash is about an inch wide, okay? So what I am going to do is I am going to select a font that is less than an inch. There is a font that I have over here that's about a 0.75, if I remember correctly. Here it is. I have this one. It's called an Arial um, 0.75. And um, I think this one would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type his name. Um, Mel, Mel Low. Okay. And um, this is fine. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to turn it like this. Just, you know, have it straight, and there you go. Just turn it, and there you go. Okay, so mellow. Okay, so I am going to save this, because I'm going to do two separate files. I'm going to do one with his name, and then one 
with the phone number, okay? So here, I'm gonna do save as, and let me pull and put in a USB port. Um, and my USB port should hopefully show up. There it is. And right here, I'm going to do mellow for his name and it's going to save on the usb port okay there you go oh sorry i changed the um i must have hit the, the thing okay here you go all right hopefully you saw hold that okay so i changed that now i'm going to do a new file and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the phone number and i'm going to do half an inch for that um that was 0.75 and i'm starting to wonder if i should have did the name at half an inch also um, I do have a font that is half an inch. I have to look to see. Um, let me see. I do know that it's somewhere in here. Here goes half inch, and that's just the fancy, and I don't even think that's numbers. Let me do the Georgia. F I think I have um, uh, Times New Roman, I think, down here. Here, I have this one. Um, I don't know if this has the numbers. Let me see. Does it? Yeah, it does. Okay. So I can do that. And then, um, let me see. Does it give you a thing? I need six. Six out of three. Okay. Gives me the phone number. Okay. That's half an inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. It on the side and just like that it looks good and then I'm gonna do it right here and I'm gonna save it as number okay number and let me save that okay so I got the phone number on there and then I got his name okay so I'm going to get out of this and now we're going to go over to the machine and you know what? I really like the font. No, I like this font. Um, this font's good. I'm going to leave it like that. All right, let's go over to the machine and let's see what we got, okay? All right. Okay, now, um, before we do go to the machine, though, I did tell you that I was going to show you how I actually, you know, use this sticky stabilizer and stuff. Now, if you really think about it, um, this sticky stabilizer has a portion in here. You know, you just peel it off. So if you see here, this peels off, right? But the thing is, um... You know, once I have it on here, this is how I do it. Uh, you know, you have the shiny side. I take this the steam ripper, and then I just go, um, I do an X. You know, I press down. But don't press down, like, so hard that you're going to, like, rip right through both layers. But then what it does is it gives you that little, um, you know, indentation right here. So you can take this, and you can just poke in there a little bit. And it's, it's to try to lift the other part. Um, it's a little tricky, but you, you can get it. Um, I don't know if you see it. See, once you get one piece, then it's kind of easy. Um, this stabilizer is a little on the cheap end, so it kind of tears a little bit. I had more expensive stabilizer, and it was a little easier to deal with. But I got to be honest with you, um, I don't mind that it tears like this. Um, I'm saving some extra bucks, so... You know, it's okay. I mean, it's not that bad, you know. It's not, like, terrible. I mean, it does the job. So, to me, it's like, you know, if I have an extra dollar in my pocket, what the heck? You know, I, I can deal with this little bit of um, inconvenience. It's fine. You know. There we go. I mean, I'd rather spend the extra money on thread and stuff that, you know, can, like, you know. Make a break, you know? All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little ruler, okay? Because, you know, like right here, it has like the two spots, right? And you want to like draw like a little line. So I just take like a little marker and stuff like that. This isn't like a fabric marker or anything. It's just a little marker. And I just line it up, and then I just do like a little bit of lines like this. Okay. 
And it's just to give me an idea of where to where to lay down. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to lay down the, the leash somewhere, okay? And then I'll just move the text a little down, okay? So when I go to put it in, see I have my leash here. So what I'm going to do is to make sure that it's nice and straight, you know, I just use that little guide. I'm not going to put it over it. I'm just going to put it underneath. So like right here, see? Just to make sure it's nice and straight. And it's stuck pretty good. Okay? There you go. See? It's really good. It's going to embroider fine. And then what I want to do is I just want to put mellow right here. So let's go over to the machine. I got my file and stuff. I'm going to stick it in. And we're going to embroider mellow. And then later on, I will go down and I will embroider um, the phone number. Okay, and stuff. So event, event. You know, I'm gonna have, need another another sticky one so that I can do the phone number because I'm gonna do the name and the phone number separate. Okay. Okay, everybody. I'm at my machine. I have my USB port, and I'm going to put uh, my stuff together now. Now, remember, I place this on the line. Okay. I'm going to put this in my machine. I'm gonna put the hoop in. I'm using my 5x7. Okay, got that in there. All right, now what I'm going to do is put my USB port in the machine. There you go. Let's read this sucker. Let's see. Hit the USB button. And it's reading. See a little dot? I don't know if you see it. A little dot's going on here. Okay, got all my files. I'm going to hit forward because here's, you know, to move it to the back. Here's mellow. Okay, I'm going to select that and set it. Okay, now one of the things that I want to show you, okay. Now, when I open up my file, I want you to look closely to this because this is going to help you guys a lot. See how this line is right here? This line is, in, uh, is the same thing as the arrows, the line that you had just drew on the hoop, right? And see how the design is like square in the middle? Now, what you want to do is you want to move this, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it, and let me go up close so that you can see, okay? See how it shows you where it's going to stitch, okay? And you have the line. We're going to hit move, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button right here because I'm going to, I want this to move to the, the left, okay? So... See how I moved it over to the left? Okay, that means that that's the top. That's this right here, okay? Now, I don't want it to go like exactly on the line of the, the tip of the leash. I want to move it a little bit, so I'm going to just hit it maybe two more times. Then I'm going to hit OK, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I want to test it to make sure that this is going to stitch right where I want it to stitch, okay? So um, what I can do also is I can actually move this higher. Like, let's say I don't want Mellow to start here because I want to put the phone number, even though I kind of do, but I, I can move it up a little bit, right? So I can hit move again, and then let's say I want this to go a little higher, to start a little higher and stuff. I can just hit the up button, okay, right here, and see how it's going to move that. Now, in order to see where it's going to actually stitch, this is the button you want to hit. So you hit this, and then this tells you the position that you want. So like, let's say I want to see where the middle of this design is. This tells me. Now, let's see. What's the bottom? Okay, we're off. Okay, you see right here? It's going to sew right off. So knowing this, that means I have to move this up a little bit okay so I may have screwed up a little bit so I may have to just move this up okay so I'm gonna hit okay and then I'm going to go back because I want to move this up so I'm gonna hit move again and then I'm gonna say okay I want you to move it up slightly okay and I'm gonna hit okay 
And then now I'm going to end it and I'm going to go back to this. Okay. And then I'm clicking on this. I want, what is the bottom of this? Click here. This is the bottom. As you can see, the bottom of the L is going to be right at the bottom of this leash. So that doesn't line up very good. I want it to be right smack in the middle of this. So that means I got to go back. Okay. We got to play with it. Okay. So I'm going to go back. And I'm going to move it again because I need it to move a little bit more. And maybe I did need it in the middle. I don't know. Maybe I should have left it alone and not moved it at all. Hmm, that would have been interesting. Okay, let's see. All right, let me edit. Go back to this. Right, right here is going to be the end. What's the top? The top is going to be off. It could be that maybe this is too large. It could be that a 0.75 is too large. But let me see if I can play with it and let's see if we can get this aligned right. Okay, now I need to go back and I need to move again. So I'm going to move this a little bit. And let's see. So this is a good exercise for you to play with so that you can make sure that you understand just a little bit more. Because see, if I go here, it's off. Because if I turn it, see, it'll show you where the end of the needle is and it's, it's too off. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go back. And I'm going to do move. And I just need to move it. I'm going to say two spaces. One, two. Hit OK. And the edit, I'm going to go here. Let's see where the top is. If I move it still, I should move it some more. Let's go OK. Go back. Move. One, two, three. OK. And um, let's hit on this. What is the bottom? The bottom is like right here at the bottom of the leash. Where's the top? It kind of like fits right smack in the middle. It'll say mellow right smack in the middle. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit too close. Cover, but you know what? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this thread. I like this color thread. I think this is going to look really nice on this. So I'm going to use this. Okay. And I'm going to put this on here. Thread my machine for the color I want. And I got it in there. All right. So to see all the space that this is going to, when you click on this, just click on this and then hit this button. See again, and it's going to show you, see, it goes, starts here, starts here. And as this is moving, that's the green. See, so that's exactly where his name is going to be. Now, I'm kind of want it a little higher. Okay, so here I go again. Jenna's going to be moving stuff. So I'm going to leave it at that, but I'm going to move, but I want it to go a little higher. Okay. Right there, I think. Okay. I'm going to end it. And let me see. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to say, okay, where is it going to end? This is ending, ending. It's going all the way up there. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to start to embroider. Okay, because I know exactly that this is going to fit right on the leash. Okay, so I got the thread that I want and everything. I'm using a 7511 needle. I'm going to hit OK. Um, and I'm going to hit embroidery. And I am going to hit down. There you go, put my needle down, and okay, here we go. Now I was gonna get his little uh, leash. You know, you don't need 
to order these because I've seen these for sale for about like 20 bucks to $25 for them to embroider the name and the phone number. And if you have this machine or any other embroidery machine, it doesn't have to be the SC1900, you know? I mean, you can embroider your own um, leashes. I mean, why spend the extra money? You can go to PetSmart with your coupons or Walmart, wherever you want to get the leash from at a reasonable price. And then you can just come in and you can just embroider it. And it comes out really nice. All you gotta do is just cut the jump stitches and you're fine. So as you can see, it, it's fitting nicely right on the leash. I got it centered right. Move the O. No issue. And Melo got his own leash with his name on it. It took this whole process two minutes. There you go. Finish embroidering. Hit OK. And let's take it out. Take a look and see what it looks like. And he's got his nice little leash. There you go. Mellow. All I have to do is just cut the um, jump stitches. Wish I had made the letters a little thicker, but that's okay. I mean, for the first, for his first leash, for me to embroider, not bad. I just have to, like I said, just cut the jump stitches, you know? Um, and all you gotta do is just take it off the uh, sticky stabilizer and stuff, and then you're good. And Mellow has his leash. And your dog can have his. Dog, cat, hamster, whatever, you know, your furry friend is. So anyway, guys, hope you like this video. Um, and you can give it a thumbs up. Here you go. Here you go. So, you know, just got to clean it up a little bit. But came out pretty good, okay? I just wish I had made this a little bit thicker. But this is a way you can make your own little dog leash. So hope you like this video. And give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be making a whole bunch of videos and stuff like that that you can enjoy, you know, and make stuff. So, there you go. Love it. Look, came out pretty good. It's got its own leash. And then I'll put the phone number on there. And, God forbid, it ever does happen that he gets lost, they know his name and they'll know where to call me. All right, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.